Hey everybody, good morning. Welcome to the uh, next installment in my long range shooting with the brake barrel series. It's not an official series that I'm working on, but it's definitely something that I put some time and effort into over the last few weeks. And uh, this morning I'll be stretching it out actually farther than I have previously. I'll be going for 100 yard shots using my same demo Big Cat 1200, same Leapers 4x16 by 50 millimeter adjustable objective scope I've been using and these same exact Crossman Premier hollow points that have performed so well up to this point. Um, I did get my hands on some video editing software and I did spend all weekend working with it to try and learn a decent skill set to kind of edit out some of the pauses and maybe hopefully get some rapid fire succession on the uh, impact of the pellets downrange. So hopefully this will be a cool video for you guys and uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy. Rate and thumb me. Alright guys. Hey guys, welcome to the uh, next little segment of this video that I'm putting together for you guys. Before I get into the actual long distance accuracy test itself, I definitely want to take a second to uh, kind of show you guys and give you guys a little bit of background information on how I set my longer distance shots up. Um, some people consider it cheating to be shooting off the back of a chair. For me, I'm trying to give myself every single advantage possible. Not only is this a brake barrel rifle, which means my barrel is constantly moving off of the uh, off of where the scope is fixed to, and that causes an accuracy problem inherently, but also I'm working with one and a half hands due to this big nasty scar. So for me, I try to give myself every advantage when practicing, so that when I'm in the field and I try to put the metal to the meat, I can connect at longer distances. I use a 4x16 AO scope so that I can really get the zoom out there how it needs to be so that I can really see exactly what I'm shooting at at longer distances. The uh, fact that the barrel moves in a brake barrel and the optic remains stationary. Any type of a wiggle or any type of a looseness at this pivot point will cause inaccuracy, wild inaccuracy sometimes. Groups as wide as two or three feet I've seen on, on, on loose brake barrels at 50 plus yards. And it just comes down to maintenance. At longer distances, if you expect to connect, you have to not only use good equipment, but maintain that equipment and be a, a good shooter in the sense that you maintain your things. Every time I go for shots like this, I clean my barrel. Every time uh, I run about 500 rounds through it or so, I, I check different things like the tightness on this pivot point, the tightness of the screws that actually hold the stock to the power plant. Everything matters when you don't have a powder actuated munition and you're really going for those longer distance shots. See it is on safe currently, pointed in a safe direction. Set the stock right up here, right on top of this chair. And then I'll put my knee up like so. I put my elbow directly on top of my knee so I can feel for that solid bone on bone type of a contact so I can get as stable of a shooting platform as humanly possible. I am not professionally taught by anyone marksmanship or rifle skills or anything like that. This is all just stuff that I've come to kind of come to my own conclusions, you know. No one really taught me how to shoot. I just always had a love for, for marksmanship and kind of uh, in my later years have pursued it. So. Anything that's not textbook the way it should be done as far as marksmanship or as far as uh, rifle rhetoric is concerned. You guys got to forgive me on because like I said, I am self-taught. In any event, I go for a bone-on-bone -bone connection here. Feel where my shoulder is. Solid cheek weld. And after it's all set where it needs to be, move my hand up so that my other elbow also supports the chair and prevents it from moving. Target's acquired, flip the safety off. Now I just focus on trigger control. Good shot. Uh, what's going on everybody? All right. We are now walking the 100 yard distance out to where I have my Birchwood Casey shoot and see target set up. This will be the uh, first time that I'll attempt a grouping 
at more than 75 yards on film. So if it turns out to be terrible shooting, please cut me some slack. It is a brake barrel. It's not a PCP or a, that nice MAV 77 under lever that, from uh, Crossman this year. But I'll do the best I can with what I got. And I got a brake barrel at 100 yards. So hopefully we'll kind of... Uh, see the upper reaches of a 177 caliber brake barrels range today and you can see we are really traveling a distance here 100 yards doesn't sound like a long distance until you go to walk it and it takes you a decent amount of time to walk across you can see the organic cherry orchard here we are shooting nothing is uh, unsafe to shoot behind us this is a private road that is closed um, Really nice day. Ready to practice shooting at 100 yards. Let's see if we can't set you guys up. All right. Like I said, I have acquired some video software and I have been working on how to use it as well. So, I will be uh, hopefully editing out some of this nonsense and pauses so bear with me for one second and I will run back to my post start this video and uh, hopefully show you guys a good 10 round group Alright guys, well, kind of a wide grouping, but in my opinion, that's acceptable. Grouping roughly just larger than the size of my fist at 100 yards. No, it's more than 10 shots, but I was just really excited to see the target lighten up at 100 yards. I. Uh, was up four mil dots of adjustment from where I have this sighted in for 70 yards so I'm not sure if that's due to pellet weight or due to velocity falling off or maybe I just had it sighted in wrong I'm not sure I'm not a professional as I stated in my uh, previous little blurbs and videos but I do enjoy marksmanship and this is the longest distance that I've ever shot at with a, uh, a brake barrel rifle so if you have enjoyed this and uh, you've appreciated this video go ahead and feel free to rate and subscribe and if you have any pointers from a professional standpoint like you can shoot like Ed Gun USA I'm subscribed to him check him out the guy's a machine if you can shoot like that and you have technical pointers you would like to give me on on uh, rifle basics and shooting please feel free if you're just some guy with an opinion about shooting um, probably not that interested but uh, Definitely. Thanks for watching, you guys, and I hope you've enjoyed.